vlog. My name is Julia Villarama and today I am going to Wait, what? This this isn't this isn't my vlog channel. This Oh, this is AVR history. Hey guys, sorry about that. As I was saying, today we'll be talking about trade, gifts for trading land with white people by Jow Jow John Quick to See Smith. Is that right? Made in 1992. And the materials are oil paint and mixed media, collage, objects, and canvas. This artwork illustrates historical and contemporary inequities inequities between Native Americans and the United States government. This is a reminder that Native Americans gave up their land for trinkets from the Europeans. So before we go on to the content of this artwork, let's have a little context, shall we? <laughs> this piece is a part of the Quincentenary Non-Celebration, a series of mixed media slash paintings made by the artist. Smith's art shares her view of the world offering her personal perspective as an artist, a Native American, and a woman. Her work creates a dialogue between the art and its viewers and explores issues of Native identity as it is seen by both Native Americans and non-Natives. Now moving on to... A triptych canvas reminiscent of a medieval altarpiece. <coughs> Covered in collage with newspaper articles about native life cut out from her tribal paper, Char Kusta, photos, comics, tobacco, and gum wrappers, fruit carton labels, ads, and pages from comic books, all of which feature stereotypical na images of Native Americans. Amazing. There's layers of color, particularly, particularly red, drip from the piece. <laughs> The raw brushstrokes convey deep emotions and social chaos, referencing the abstract expressionist era. Top layer outlines a canoe, which suggests the possibility of trade and cultural connections, though this empty canoe is stuck, unable to move. Above the canvas is a clothesline from which she dangled a variety of native-themed toys and souvenirs, especially from sports teams with native American mascots. This serves as a counter offer to the original European Native American trades. And lastly, she uses cheap trinkets for the uh, for the land lost more than half a millennium ago. <laughs> millennium ago. Some other ideas related to this artwork is that there are stereotypes, relationships with Native Americans, feelings of frustration and anguish, and a reminder of how Native American history has lost most of its significance. And that's how you do it, folks. Thank you very much for watching our AP Art History video. I hope this video was very informational. I love you guys. Bye. Hi, Miss Yao.